Yeah, this is my first time in 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 the motherland. I would wow. say, you know, so it's, wow. it's it's a beautiful experience. Wow. I would say. Yeah. Hey, you guys. I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins, and you should subscribe to Echo Simpson's channel. Echo is a really cool brother, and I'm gonna invite him to come on my channel. And so I will also uh, come on his channel. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. You know, I'm always happy when I see younger brothers like my brother right here. You know, taking the bold step. You know throwing away the fear, not being skeptic about what Africa has for him, but he decided to make the step. And now he's here on the motherland, Ghana, Africa, West Africa, Cape Coast, Anomabo to be precise. So Anomabo is one of the fishing communities along the shores of, you know, central region or Cape Coast. So today I'm here to have a beautiful discussion with my brother. But aside that discussion, I'm learning something new today that, um, there isn't only the African-American or the, the Black British or the Caribbean. We also have the Afro-Latinos. I, I mean, I'm learning from that today because my brother go here and then um, shout out to Gilbert of uh, Godbox stores who brought my brothers and sisters from the diaspora to come and experience two, three weeks here in Ghana. Um, I happened to meet a brother who said, hey, Echo, um, I've been watching your videos and you know what? I got a beautiful message from my brothers and sisters from the Afro Latinos community. Yo, my brother, thank you very much for being on my YouTube channel. Yes, yes, it's a, it's a, it's an honor to be on your on your um, YouTube channel, and I appreciate the love you know that you have for our brothers and sisters. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Great. Um, this is the first time I'm gonna have someone speak a different language on my channel so introduce yourself and tell us where you're coming from so that the other people who are watching can relate to where you're coming from okay mi nombre es uh, Kwesi Yashu eh, naturalmente soy de Puerto Rico eh, vengo est est estoy en los Estados Unidos por, eh, estoy viviendo en los Estados Unidos ahora mismo pero eh, originalmente soy de Puerto Rico Y quiero mandarle un saludo grande a todos los afro latinos del Caribe, de Sudamérica, México y Estados Unidos también. Y um, quiero, tú sabes, estoy representando a los afro latinos acá en, en Ghana, en el Cape Coast. Y quiero que ustedes, como hermanos y hermanas, vengan para Ghana, porque aquí están abriendo las puertas a los diaspora o los eh, las personas que tienen ancest ancestros que eran esclavos y están abriendo las puertas en Ghana para ustedes porque es bien bonito aquí so gracias okay gracias <laughs> uh, beautiful so I, I don't know what you said but I know what you said was really positive anyway um, I have a question for you growing up yeah as an Afro-Latino, mm -hmm. did you have any alternative as to where you would want to live or visit just in case you don't want to be at where you are right now? I would say yes. Um, I would say that I would, you know, I would say that there, there would have been a different um, opportunity for me to live in a different, you know, a different country. Mm -hmm. But I would say destiny um, shows me to be in Ghana, you know what I mean? It's kind of like you have a you have a, a, a choice or you have a a, a place that you want to be, but destiny has a different choice. Yeah. Or God would say, you know, or God um, uh, has a different, um, uh, you know, opportunity for you or has a different, uh, you know, yeah. life choice for you than what you want you know what i mean so it's depending on the person you know mm -hmm. so that that's my opinion on that okay you know? so um, having that opinion and then you coming to africa being mm -hmm. on the motherland mm -hmm. i mean speaking to you you said that Af can you explain who the afro latino is what makes one an afro latino okay so the afro latino um they are basically descendants of slaves who came to the americas um, you have a big, big community. Um, we have uh, 
in the Caribbean, you have Afro-Latinos in Puerto Rico, uh, Dominican Republic. We have in South America, we have the Mexican uh, brothers and sisters in Mexico. So it's basically a big community. Mm -hmm. We're not different. We're the same people. We just speak Spanish, mm -hmm. basically. So if we speak, uh, you know, uh, English or if we speak, uh, you know, the dialect over here in Ghana, we're, we're the same people, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I just I just wanted to, um, ex, you know, explain what is the difference between Afro-Latinos, African-American or, or brothers over here in Africa. So so people could, you know, understand what it is. Yeah, but um, I've been I've been having, you know, contact with a lot of diasporas, but I barely see Afro-Latinos coming to Ghana. Does it mean they are not? They, they are not getting the message that, or they feel, because, excuse my language to say they are fairly scanned, they think they are not part of the, the African diaspora. Yeah, yeah, well, the problem, okay, this is, this is the thing. There's a, um, a lack of, I would say, of media footage, okay. or a lack of, of information from the Afro-Latino, uh, I would say, video-wise, and... Um, because there's there's a lot of Afro Latinos. They're very dark skin. Okay. You know what I mean. And you know some of them go from light to all the way to dark skin. So it's not a complexion kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's just you know the the lack of 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 video footage or you know because there there's places where you find Afro Latinos mm -hmm. with very you know dark skin. Yeah. You know what I mean. So. Um, I would say it's the lack of video footage and um, and information that you find. You know what I mean. But there is there is a strong presence of of African um, diaspora all over. You know mm -hmm. the Americas. Okay. I would say so. So that means uh, if I if I can understand you, what you're saying is there is lack of information mm -hmm. to the Afro Latinos as to how to um, take the journey to the motherland. And to connect with people mm -hmm. so i think you being the first person on my channel mm -hmm. from the afro latinos i i am i think i have to give you that that job to do to you know send the information out there that i mean ghana 2019 the president was like hey i mean the diaspora can come to ghana live in ghana buy land in ghana do business in ghana but maybe they are uh, media is not sending this kind of message to them, just like what you're saying. So they lack that information. So I believe this is the right time for us to also put a message out there to our brothers and sisters from the Afro-Latino uh, community that, hey, you are invited to Ghana. You are invited to come here and live with us, do everything with us. Now you're staying in Ghana. How many weeks have you been in Ghana so far? I would say about two and a half weeks, I would say, just around that time frame, I would say. And, and this is your first time on the motherland or this is your first time in Ghana? Yeah, this is my first time in, in, in the motherland, I would wow. say, you know, so it's, wow. it's, it's a beautiful experience, wow. I would say. Yeah. You know? And so far, what has been the experience? I mean, with the food, with the people, with everything? I would say that uh, my experience in, um, in Ghana and in Africa, for say, um, it has been a beautiful experience. The, the people, the love. Um, just just amazing the spiritual uh, connection with the land with the people I mean the acceptance you know and everything the love that that they have for us um, in the diasporans coming over here to Africa in, in Ghana it's, it's just amazing I would say I, I, I have no words for it you know I have no words yeah beautiful beautiful and I know um, an organization brought you to to Ghana. Yes. So you yes. want to say a little bit about the organization that brought you to Ghana? Okay, so uh, the organization is called uh, God Box Tour. Uh, it's a basically, it's, it's a tour uh, com company um, that basically um, helps the diaspora come to Ghana um, and they have all the information in their website. It's uh, God Box Tours. I believe it's GodBoxTours.com. So hey, uh, it's been a wonderful, you know, conversation. I always want to keep it short because the message is what we are looking at, not the length of the video. So um, today, I'm also officially inviting all Afro Latinos, and I, I like them. They have beautiful women, you know. Yes. Uh, well, I would say that I would say that all 
Uh, my African sisters are beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I would say all of them. Yeah. I wouldn't say just half the Latinas. Yeah. I would say all my sisters all over the diaspora. I would say, you know, they're all beautiful. It's great. You know, so. Great. Yeah. Hey, so if you are an Af Afro-Latino watching me right now, my name is Echo Simpson. I make videos to connect brothers and sisters from the diaspora and then to brothers and sisters from the motherland. So if you're watching this, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Put up a comment and let me know what you also feel about being an Afro-Latino and connecting yourself to the motherland. You're welcome to Ghana any day, any time. Yeah? Thank you very much for checking us out. Peace. Hey, saludo, saludo. Y quiero, quiero decirle que se suscriban a Echo Simpson. Simpson. Suscríbanse y que pasen la información a, todos los, a todas las personas que quieran saber de su canal, ¿ok? Y saludos, Diaspora. Saludos.